Welcome and thank you for joining me. I'm Jerry Oginski, a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer practicing law here in the state of New York. Today's video tip is about plastic surgery, specifically eyelid surgery. Now, many times somebody who goes for eyelid surgery will have one of two problems. Either the eyelid will be drooping or they want the eyelid to be tighter so they can look a little bit younger. Well, what's the problem and why would they come to an attorney once they've had this surgery? Well, one of the big problems is that people who go in for plastic surgery may have unrealistic expectations about how they're going to look afterwards. And I get many calls from patients who have had surgery saying, you know what, I just had surgery, the doctor didn't do the procedure correctly, and because of that, I now look terrible and I have to have a repeat surgery. Do I have a case? Most of the time, they don't. However, there are instances where after having an expert review the records and examine you, what they will find is that there may have been departures from good and accepted medical practice that caused your injury. And the injury has to be significant and permanent. And in those cases, then we can turn around and tell you, yes, an expert has confirmed that we have a basis for a case and now we can go forward. And that's it for today's quick video tip about plastic surgery malpractice. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for joining me.